Hey everyone, I'm not Mike. Uh, he'll be bringing you some new content in a few weeks. Right now he's working on a new book, so be sure to subscribe so you'll uh, hear when that comes out. Uh, today we're going to bring you a video on The Mark of the Beast um, from Mike's series on numbers. If you want to watch the whole series um, on numbers in the Bible, we'll put the link down in the description. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and it contains many, many words and many numbers. We're going to be looking at the numbers that are found in the Bible. You see, God is the author of numbers. In fact, the entire universe is made up of math. It is structured based on math. Your brain is structured based on math. The signals that your brain sends are all based on math. It's digital, just like a computer. Everything has a structure and an order from the scale of a fish to uh, your DNA, and it's all mathematically explainable and reducible. Everything except the soul, that is. So when God wrote the Bible, you would expect to find it to be mathematically perfect. You'd expect to find it consistent with the rest of nature if his fingerprints are on it. Revelation 13, notice the chapter 13 about the Antichrist. And that no man might buy or sell save he that hath the mark. By the way, that word mark right there is the 666th word in the Greek New Testament. 666 word. The mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man in his number, 600, three score and six. So the Bible does tell us that we will know Antichrist when he appears by the numerical value of his name, which will be 666. So this 66 has become a freaky concept to many people. Now, here is the Hebrew alphabet. You see, they didn't have numbers. They made their numbers with their alphabet. And so you see them side by side compared there. Back about uh, 10 or 12 years ago, I guess, I was looking at Jerusalem Post. Israel was having an election. And they gave the numerical value of the names of the people running. This was in their national newspaper. Why? Because the people understanding Hebrew automatically added up the numerical value and it had some significance to them. So it's still a big part in Israel of the numerical value of names. Now you understand it better if we look at it in Roman numerals. You remember I equals one. V equals 5, X equals 10, L equals 50. This is in the Latin language. C equals 100, D equals 500, and 1,000 is M, as in millennium. Now, 2 is two ones, and 3 is three ones. But 4 is 5 minus 1, or minus 1, 5, which is 4. And then 6 is 5 plus 1, 7 plus 2, Eight and ten is t ten minus. Um, excuse me, nine is ten minus one. Now, in a larger number like nine hundred and seventeen, you've got one hundred subtracted from a thousand. That's the M plus ten five and two seventeen comes out to nine hundred and seventeen. So, any time a name was written, you could take the different letters of the name, with the exception of S. S is always thought of as kind of evil, like a serpent or a snake. And so it didn't have a numerical value in Latin. Okay, Antichrist is a man whose name has a numerical value. You add it up and it comes out to 666. By the way, there are only three different Greek words in the Bible that come out to 666. They're all negative. It's not very common. When you think about it, out of a 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 3,000 possible. That means only about one out of every two or 3,000 words are going to come out totaling 666. The Greek Bible has about 6,000 Greek words in the New Testament, and three of them total 666. That's one out of 2,000. 
So here's the word Latinos, or, which is in Greek is for Latin, and it totals 666, giving us an indication of where the Antichrist is going to come from. Vicarious file dea, which is Latin for vicarious son of God, which has been written on Catholic popes, throne, hat, and everywhere else. And it means in place of the son of God, and vicarious adds up to 112, file adds up to 53, and dea adds up to 501. And if you put all those together, it comes out to 600. And 66, a very rare thing indeed. So, Romoth, Roman kingdom in the Hebrew language now, we looked at Greek in the Hebrew language, comes out to 666. It's unheard of that two languages should yield the same numerical value when the letters are different and the values of those letters are different. Now, what's interesting is Jesus Christ totals 888. Jesus does it, that is, just Jesus. Revelation has 888 Greek words in it, in the, in, the, in the Greek language, 888. The 666th word being Mark, and Jesus equals 888. So there, there are hundreds of little tidbits like that that have to do with numbers that just coincidentally seem to fall out but they have, the odds are significantly against it taking place.